I've watched the God of War Ragnarok gameplay trailer a few times now. I've been hopeful. I've made no secret of my dislike for God of War 2018, but I believed they would do something to resolve the gameplay issues that game had. And well, so far, it appears the hope I had was foolish. Within 30 seconds, we already have Atreus bitching. Somehow, apparently, they actually made him worse. I was expecting a jump in time that would put Atreus maybe in his early to mid-twenties, but it looks like he's about 13 and ready to be as annoying as ever. Graphically, artistically, the game looks the same. I was pretty much expecting that, because my thought was that they'd take the foundation of the last game and use it to evolve the gameplay. But I was also expecting a more pulled back camera. Not a distant fixed camera like the classics, but something that showed more of the battlefield this time. Sadly, we have the same tight FOV claustrophobic camera from third person shooters that doesn't complement the combat scenarios of this series where you are surrounded on all sides. That is a huge disappointment. There's also no evidence of a dedicated jump button, meaning no aerial combat options or evasion options no skill-based platforming, and no platforming-based puzzles. I see Kratos using his chains to grapple up to points, but I am very worried that this is automatic. Can you hook onto other points of the wall and mess up the grapple, smacking your head into the wall? If you can, then that means you actually have to aim the grapple correctly. If not, then it's bullshit auto-platforming. And I know, the classic God of War games also had auto-platforming grappling sections, but they also had true platforming with a dedicated jump button. If you don't have a dedicated jump button or any kind of skill-based platforming, adding an auto-platforming grappling option doesn't do anything to make navigation more interesting. If there's a lot of these points in the combat arenas, then it will at least give some verticality to the fights, so that is a positive. I see no signs of a performance-based upgrade system revolving around creative play, attack variation, or combos. I don't see any type of resource management, making me afraid that you'll still be able to spam magic and take a bunch of damage each fight because of health refilling at checkpoints upon death. Overall, it looks really stale, and that's what I was worried about. It doesn't look like a sequel made by a studio that wants to make a sequel and push into new territories. And here's the thing, the stuff I wanted to see would be welcomed by fans. Much like how I never knew how much I wanted the evolution of gameplay that Doom Eternal brought to the franchise after Doom 2016, these changes would have gone over well. Take a moment to imagine if the reveal trailer had been different. Imagine we actually saw Kratos in combat doing a combo and then doing a single jump into the air for an air attack that juggled the opponent. Do you think there would be legions of fans complaining about it? I highly doubt it. Everyone would be on here talking about the evolution of gameplay and the new possibilities it would open up in combat. Imagine if we saw Kratos manually jumping over pieces of the environment. Everyone would be speculating about all the exploration possibilities it would open up, now that we have a jump option. Imagine if we saw a classic combo meter, or something on screen that said it was rewarding extra XP to the player for using a high variety of attacks, or for not taking damage during the fight. Everyone would be talking about the implications to combat, and how God of War Ragnarok was pushing a bold vision of asking players to be more creative and play smart. All these things would be praised by the very people who, in their absence, say they aren't necessary or even needed. I'm still gonna play it, but I'm not excited for it anymore. And I was excited. For as many criticisms I had for the last game, I knew they could do something that would make both fans and critics happy, but they obviously don't want that. It looks like they're phoning it in, and that's pretty sad. Sad Mayo. Maybe I need an icon for that.